Have you ever wondered what a lack of friends says about someone? This thought-provoking question invites us to explore the often overlooked dimensions of friendship and social connections. In a world where social media connections are abundant, but genuine friendships can be rare, the absence of close friends can reveal much about an individual's emotional landscape. Friendship plays a crucial role in our lives, offering companionship, support, and a sense of belonging. It influences our mental health and overall well-being, acting as a buffer against stress and loneliness. But what does it mean when someone navigates life without a close circle of friends? Is it a choice, a reflection of personality traits like introversion, or perhaps a deeper struggle with social anxiety? In this video, we'll delve into the emotional and psychological implications of lacking friendships. We'll uncover the layers behind this social dynamic, exploring how it impacts self-esteem, emotional fulfillment, and even life satisfaction. By the end, you'll gain insights into the significance of friendships and how they shape our identities and experiences in profound ways. Join me as we embark on this enlightening journey into the heart of human connections. Understanding Friendship Friendship is a multifaceted bond that encompasses various forms of relationships, ranging from acquaintances to close friends. At its core, friendship involves mutual affection, trust and support. Acquaintances are often individuals we know casually, engaging in small talk without deeper emotional connections. Close friends, on the other hand, share personal experiences, provide emotional support and offer companionship during both good and challenging times. These deeper relationships foster a sense of belonging and understanding that can significantly enrich our lives. The benefits of having friends are numerous and profound. Friends provide emotional support, acting as a sounding board during difficult times and celebrating achievements during joyful moments. This emotional connection is vital for mental well-being Research shows that strong friendships can reduce stress, increase happiness, and even improve physical health by bolstering the immune system. Social connections contribute to a sense of belonging, helping individuals navigate life's challenges with resilience. However, society often places a high value on having a wide social circle, which can create stigma for those with fewer friends. People may be unfairly judged as unsociable or unworthy due to their limited connections. This stigma can lead to feelings of isolation and inadequacy, making it crucial to recognize that the quality of friendships often matters more than quantity. Ultimately, friendships are not defined by their number, but by the depth of connection and support they provide, highlighting the importance of nurturing meaningful relationships rather than merely seeking to increase social circles. Reasons for a lack of friends. One of the primary reasons individuals may have few friends is personal choice. Introverts, for example, often prefer solitude or small gatherings over large social events. They may find that they recharge their energy by spending time alone or engaging in solitary activities like reading, writing or pursuing hobbies. This preference does not indicate a lack of desire for connection, but rather a different approach to social interactions. Introverts often value deep, meaningful conversations over casual small talk, which can lead to fewer but more substantial friendships. For these individuals, the quality of relationships tends to take precedence over quantity, resulting in a smaller circle of friends that they genuinely connect with. Life circumstances play a significant role in shaping one's social life. Factors such as relocating to a new city or town, changing jobs or experiencing significant life events, such as divorce or the loss of a loved one, can disrupt existing friendships and hinder the formation of new ones. When someone moves to a new area, the challenges of adapting to a different environment can be overwhelming. The process of making new friends often requires time and effort, 
which can be particularly daunting for individuals already dealing with stress or emotional upheaval. Similarly, significant life changes can leave individuals feeling vulnerable and hesitant to reach out to others, as they may feel disconnected or preoccupied with their own challenges. Social skills significantly impact an individual's ability to form and maintain friendships. Many people struggle with social anxiety, which can make interactions feel intimidating or overwhelming. Those who experience social anxiety may avoid social situations altogether, fearing judgment or rejection. This avoidance can create a vicious cycle. The less they engage socially, the more their skills deteriorate, leading to increased anxiety in future interactions. Additionally, some individuals may find it challenging to initiate conversations, read social cues, or understand the dynamics of social interactions, which can hinder their ability to connect with others. These social difficulties can result in feelings of loneliness and isolation, even if they desire friendships. Previous experiences with friendships can profoundly influence an individual's current social life. Negative past experiences, such as betrayals, misunderstandings, or toxic relationships, can leave lasting scars. Someone who has been hurt by a friend may become wary of forming new connections, fearing that they will face similar pain again. This wariness can lead to a reluctance to trust others, making it difficult to open up and establish new friendships. Even positive past experiences, such as having a close-knit group of friends in school or college, can create a sense of loss when those relationships fade. Individuals may feel that they cannot replicate those connections in their current lives, leading them to withdraw from social situations altogether. In conclusion, a lack of friends can stem from various factors, including personal choice, life circumstances, social skills, and past experiences. It's essential to recognize that these reasons do not define an individual's worth or desirability as a friend. Understanding the underlying causes can help individuals reflect on their own social situations and explore ways to build meaningful connections, even in the face of these challenges, whether through seeking support, engaging in new activities, or embracing their authentic selves, individuals can work toward cultivating the friendships they desire. Psychological implications. The absence of friendships can profoundly impact an individual's self-perception and identity. Humans are inherently social beings, and relationships often play a critical role in shaping our sense of self. When someone lacks friends, they may begin to question their worth and feel inadequate, leading to diminished self-esteem. The messages we receive from friends contribute to our understanding of ourselves. Without those affirmations, individuals might struggle to form a positive self-image. For instance, when friends provide encouragement or celebrate achievements, it reinforces a sense of belonging and value. In their absence, individuals might internalize feelings of rejection or inferiority, believing that they are unlikable or undeserving of connection. This self-doubt can lead to a negative feedback loop, where low self-esteem prevents them from seeking social interactions, perpetuating their loneliness and reinforcing a belief in their unworthiness. Consequently, individuals may define themselves by their lack of friendships, leading to an identity fraught with loneliness and isolation. The correlation between loneliness and mental health issues is well documented. Loneliness can be a precursor to or a consequence of mental health problems such as depression and anxiety. When individuals experience prolonged social isolation, they may begin to feel hopeless, leading to feelings of sadness and despair. Research indicates that individuals who lack social connections are at a higher risk of developing depressive symptoms. The absence of a support network can exacerbate feelings of hopelessness, 
component placement as individuals may struggle to cope with life's challenges without anyone to confide in or rely on for support. Moreover, anxiety can arise from the anticipation of social interactions or the fear of rejection. Individuals who have experienced loneliness may feel overwhelmed by the prospect of putting themselves out there again, leading to avoidance behaviors. This cycle of avoidance can further entrench feelings of anxiety and contribute to a sense of isolation. The longer someone remains isolated, the harder it becomes to break the cycle, leading to a decline in overall mental well-being. The lack of social interaction can lead individuals to develop coping mechanisms or defensive behaviors. These behaviors are often employed as a way to protect oneself from the pain of rejection or further isolation. For example, some individuals may become overly self-reliant, convincing themselves that they do not need friends to be happy. While this can serve as a temporary coping strategy, it can ultimately hinder the development of meaningful relationships. By adopting a facade of independence, individuals may deny their need for social connections, reinforcing their isolation and preventing them from seeking companionship. Others may develop defensive behaviors, such as being overly critical or dismissive of social invitations. These behaviors can serve as a shield against the fear of rejection allowing individuals to maintain a sense of control over their social interactions. However, such defensiveness can create a barrier to connection, leading to further isolation and loneliness. Additionally, some individuals may turn to maladaptive coping strategies, such as substance abuse or excessive screen time, as a way to escape feelings of loneliness. While these behaviors may provide temporary relief, they often lead to additional mental health challenges, compounding the cycle of isolation. Furthermore, the impact of loneliness can extend to behavioral patterns in social settings. Individuals who have been isolated for long periods may find it challenging to engage in social situations, leading to awkwardness or discomfort during interactions. This social anxiety can reinforce their belief that they do not fit in or are unlikable, making them less likely to seek out friendships in the future. In summary, the psychological implications of having few friends are profound and multifaceted. A lack of friendships can negatively influence self-perception and identity, contribute to mental health challenges, and lead to the development of coping mechanisms and defensive behaviors. Understanding these implications is crucial for individuals who find themselves isolated as it underscores the importance of seeking connections and nurturing relationships for emotional well-being. By addressing the psychological effects of loneliness, individuals can take steps toward fostering meaningful connections, ultimately enhancing their mental health and quality of life. Cultural and Societal Perspectives Friendship is perceived differently across cultures, and these cultural nuances can significantly affect how individuals view the implications of having few friends. In collectivist cultures, such as those found in many Asian and African societies, friendship often encompasses strong familial bonds and communal ties. In these settings, social networks are not only a source of companionship, but also essential for social and economic support. Having few friends may lead to feelings of isolation or inadequacy, as individuals might feel they are failing to meet societal expectations of belonging and connection. Conversely, in more individualistic societies, such as those in the Western world, friendship is often seen as a personal choice and a reflection of individual identity. While having fewer friends may not carry the same stigma, it can still lead to feelings of loneliness and pressure to conform to social norms regarding social interactions. Societal pressures also play a significant role in shaping perceptions of friendship. In today's hyper-connected world, social media platforms often create unrealistic expectations for friendships and social interactions. 
The curated lives we see online can lead to a comparison culture where individuals feel inadequate due to the seemingly vast social circles of others. As a result, those with fewer friends may experience heightened feelings of loneliness or alienation, believing they are missing out on the connections that others seem to enjoy. This perception can reinforce the stigma associated with having few friends, making individuals feel even more isolated. Furthermore, social media, while providing opportunities for connection, can also foster superficial relationships. The ease of communicating online can lead to a decrease in face-to-face -face interactions, making it challenging for individuals to form deep, meaningful friendships. In this context, individuals may have numerous online friends but feel lonely in real life as these virtual connections often lack the emotional depth found in traditional friendships. The challenge lies in balancing online interactions with authentic offline relationships to cultivate a robust support network, transforming loneliness into strength. For individuals with fewer friends, transforming loneliness into strength is an empowering process that can lead to meaningful connections. Here are some strategies to foster friendships. Explore shared interests. Engaging in activities or hobbies that align with personal interests can provide opportunities to meet like-minded individuals. Joining clubs, classes or community groups can create a natural environment for building connections based on shared passions. Volunteer. Volunteering for local organizations or causes not only benefits the community, but also allows individuals to meet others who share similar values. This shared commitment can serve as a foundation for lasting friendships. Be open and approachable. Developing a friendly demeanor and being open to conversations can help break the ice in social situations. Small gestures, such as smiling or making eye contact, can invite others to engage. Reach out. Taking the initiative to connect with acquaintances or co-workers can help strengthen existing relationships. A simple invitation to coffee or lunch can pave the way for deeper connections. Quality over quantity. It's essential to remember that meaningful friendships are more valuable than the number of friends one has. Focus on nurturing a few close relationships rather than striving for a large social circle. Prioritize connections that bring joy, support and fulfillment. By implementing these strategies, individuals can transform their experience of loneliness into a journey of self-discovery and connection. Embracing the idea that quality matters more than quantity can lead to richer, more rewarding friendships that enhance overall well-being. In this video, we explored the complex landscape of friendship, understanding its various forms and the emotional benefits it brings. We delved into the reasons why some individuals may find themselves with few friends, examining personal choices, life circumstances, social skills, and past experiences that can influence our social connections. We also highlighted the psychological implications of a lack of friendships, including its effects on self-perception and mental health. Furthermore, we discussed cultural and societal perspectives on friendship, emphasizing the pressures of social media and how they shape our understanding of relationships. Finally, we offered practical strategies for transforming loneliness into strength, reinforcing the idea that meaningful connections can be cultivated regardless of the number of friends one has. As we wrap up, take a moment to reflect on your own friendships and the value they bring to your life. How can you nurture these connections further? We invite you to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Let's start a conversation about the importance of friendships and the impact they have on our well-being. Remember, every connection counts and it's never too late to build meaningful relationships.